Hey, May, how you doing? This is Greg Green. It's really nice to meet you. Um, congratulations on your work at, at Harvard. You know, I'm glad that I can contribute to those things. Uh, you had a question about uh, my remarks on 3, 5, and 6, and I thought I'd outline those to you today. Um, well, first question was 80-20. What is 80-20? Why is that you know, Why is that relevant? Or, you know, why is that, you know, flexible and so forth? So let me give you where it came from and then, you know, where we have seen it before, you know, when homes cannot support the process, you know, and it, it'll make sense once I, once I explain it. You know, where did it come from? Well, actually, you know, we're a school that has been failing miserably. You know, our school had changed just, you know, um, over time, we had seen a school that, you know, could fully support the homework process. And, and then 10 years later, we're a school that could not support the homework process. And so teachers were really frustrated, you know, you know, students should be more responsible or students, why don't they do this, this and this. And, and, and I started interviewing students and I found that, you know, their home life just, just didn't support it anymore. And what we thought was you know, the right thing to do was actually the wrong thing to do, and it wasn't aligned to our customer, our current customer. And so <clears throat> we started measuring, you know, what we actually did, why we did it, what we actually did in class, and we found that 80% of our time in a traditional class was spent lecturing, talking to the students and not with them. And, um, you know, no wonder you have problems when you're not actually processing the work. So we asked ourselves what's more important, the information today where we have the internet and Google or the actual learning process where students have full ownership over the information and, and um, you know, are actually processing and becoming, it's becoming them and their own. And so what we found is that, you know, it doesn't matter what information you have, but the process in which you take it in, the process in which you, it becomes yours and you have full understanding of it and, may, and can bring others with you is the most important process. And so we think that, you know, our, our system didn't value that. You know, our day-to-day -day system didn't value that. And so that was really, really important. And so what we did is we gave ourselves a general rule that 80% of our class time not, was now going to be activity-based, student activity-based. And there was still a point where the teachers could bring students together. They could actually go over and demonstrate and explain and so forth. So that's 20% of your class time was for that. And so this general guide for us allowed us to kind of for teachers and say, how do I design, how do I flip, how do I do, um, do this? 80-20 provided a, a general guide for us. But it was a general guide. It wasn't uh, the end all the be all. We, I know as principal that things, you know, the teacher has to gather people together they have to bring them in at certain times. They have to do demonstrations that are longer than what we want to. But, you know, that's all appropriate. So 80-20 could be where a teacher could actually, at the beginning week on Monday, lecture all Monday, all Monday, but actually build in activities that are more flip-based um, for the other four days a week. And so you're still 80-20, you know, you're still, you know, but you're getting it all up front. You're front-loading your students all in class. And so, you know, 80-20 is a general guide. We also feel that our, our system at school is set up best for processing learning. So you have an expert, you have a support system, and you know support staff. You have counselors. You have um, you know what you know. You have academic counselors, uh, social counselors, um, social emotional counselors. Excuse me. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff. You know that are built in naturally in school. Whereas at a home, you don't have that. So if you're Looking at processing, you know, the learning, you need to get the some some things out of the way for a student to actually process it properly, or pay attention to it, or you know, ha they have stuff going on. So we have all that. Plus, we have all the physical structures, the lighting, the room, the environment, the design. You know, with the textbooks, we have everything right there for the process, you know, to take place. So why not do it there? And so that's where our you know, 80-20 comes into play. The next thing is Google's design. Google's design was actually brilliant. You know, we, we had looked at, you know, how do we migrate an entire staff over to Flip? And really, Google had, had it in play. And so what we found is that Google started to move everybody from Microsoft Suite 
And so they're design, they designed their platform for that. So we had to design FLIT for mass migration. And so really when we get down to 8020, um, with the design, you have to say, what do we currently do today? And this is where, you know, where have we seen this before? Um, let's look in our school and see, is there something that's familiar to us already that's already designed like, you know, FLIP that we could easily show as a, as a you know, migration pack? And so we looked at sports, you know, coaches that are, that are have great success, don't spend a lot of time lecturing. They haven't spent a lot of time guiding, but they don't spend a lot of time where they just control the room. And so there's a lot of time, like in their practice time, is oftentimes preserved with uh, student-athlete activities rather than uh, coaching activities, you know, whereas, you know, the coach is standing up there with the marker and they're actually, you know, lecturing to the team. They actually, um, student-athletes, in college, especially in college, are all in high school are actually, you know, practicing with the coach's input on the side, so the guide on the side. We also find that art. We also find that in, in foreign language because we know, educational, educators know, that the home, can't, the home can't readily supply those types of things. So they don't have experts. They don't have, you know, football fields. They don't have, you know, art studios. They don't have, you know, anybody who speaks a foreign language in, or knows how to break down, you know, foreign language. I think all those things are available at school. Why not process it there? So, you know, Google, what they did is they took, you know, a workforce that had been trained in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and then they made, they made it look 80% the same. So what we had to do is we had to say, hey, listen, we do these activities all the time. We're just going to reverse them. You know, we're just going to actually do homework in class. We're going to make it that simple. Do homework in class. Make sure that your class is... 20% uh, lecture based, 80% activity based. And let's start with that, you know, and we're all familiar with that. We can see different examples throughout school, but it's the same philosophy that Google did. And, and we also um, made it very collaborative. So teachers can work together. They can work on content together. They can work on, if they want to put a video series together, they can work together to reduce the work redundancies, you know, in school. So. You know, it be, became a very collaborative, free-flowing, easy, working downhill instead of uphill system. And so what we found is, you know, what we wanted people to do this over time. And we said, well, what are some things, you know, what's out there that, you know, creates this brand loyalty or this commitment to something? And we saw it in Apple. And the reason that Apple is so good is because they're they're really designed for that. Um, what they do, they're, they're brilliant, and what they do is they start simple in their designs, right? But then they also increase the personalization as you, the products, as you buy products, you become, it's more personalized and also it's for greater investment in their product, in their, in their, de, their device. So I'll give an example. So, you know, people used to start out, not so much anymore, but they used to start out on an iPod, young age. You just have a bunch of songs you can listen to, really, you know, a couple features on there, but it's really simple. But you could personalize it by your songs. And so you carried that around, but then all of a sudden they came out with what they called the iTouch. And that iTouch was similar to an iPad, right? You just had your apps and the but. You know, it was something that uh, you had more investment. So you could actually have five or six apps that you used all the time. And you could, you could actually, you know, interact with friends and, and so forth. And so, you know, but it, was, it wasn't as complicated as the cell phone. But now the next step in, is to adopt a cell phone from Apple. And Apple allows you to, to uh, you know, link other accounts like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, those types of things. So you have... You could do a range of things on your cell phone that keep you in touch with others. And so what happens is Apple is now suddenly you become personally invested in your cell phone. And, you know, you have contacts in there. You have, uh, you can email folks from there. And so it becomes very convenient. So we've, we made sure that, you know, Flip being 
yes, the migration pattern, but it had to be simple and easy for people to use. And it had to increase in its personal, personal investment. So, for instance, we start everybody out on 80-20 because if you don't have the good, a good process, then it doesn't matter what you do. So you have to solidify the process. But then what we do is we, you know, if they want to get into the video pieces, which we don't mandate, but if they want to get into the video pieces, maybe you look for someone else's video. And what we do is we teach them how to copy, cut, and paste. It's simple technology, you know, uh, skills that you know people you know most everyone can get and then as you add your own touches to it so maybe you want to try yourself on you know video we go ahead we encourage people to actually uh, look at video platforms that a uh, users out in three to five steps so something like I'm using I'm using Snagit right now it connects to YouTube you know I don't have to be an expert in in video production, MP4 files, and so forth, you know, and as a teacher, because this is not your expertise, you know. But if you have someone who's a high flyer and wants to do customized video, what's nice about that is that now you're really invested. Now, matter of fact, you might be selling your videos on, on you know, teacher, you know, some of the teacher channels out there where, you know, someone else is actually using it. So now you've you now you've gone from 80 20 and getting your routines down to okay adding resources from someone else maybe it's a a peer in the building maybe you're doing videos for them and they're doing videos for you and you're sharing the library but then you start customizing you put your own spin on it and you know what we found is when teachers and people become more invested in it they become their own brand and what happens is I have teachers who, you know, will not go back because uh, to the traditional sense because they built this brand, this brand loyalty, you know, students like it and so forth. And uh, you really see the personalized in personal investment in this process. And so that's why we've been flipping for eight years. You know, we're able to, you know, allow flexibility for individuals, you know, in a simplistic approach and then also using... Uh, becoming purposeful around the technologies and the way we design the integration of flip in our system. And so I'm a big believer in intentional design. I'm a big believer in, you know, having purposeful design in our school, you know, in all our schools. And so this is, uh, hopefully this answered some of your questions and I'll be happy to share whatever, whatever else, what other lessons I've, we've learned as well. Thank you.